Shinies are shiny biscuits. Fabuloso! Brilliantissimo! Yes, they are rather good, aren't they? <laughs> right, now then. Mm -hmm. Zap! Today we're going to find out all about clocks, so I hope we don't run out of time. <laughs> Interesting things, clocks. Oh, yes, indeed, my friends. It's time for round one. Oh, you're doing very well today. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Zap. Hello. Hello. Oh, lots of shiny things. Who is he? He's a clockmaker, and all those shiny things are parts of clocks. What are clocks for, Dogsby? Well, people use them to tell the time. Without clocks, we might get confused and go to school in the night time or something. Or have tea at lunchtime. <laughs> oh, they're very pretty. Tick, tock, tick. Ah! Oh, that's a cuckoo in a cuckoo clock. They pop out to tell the time in some clocks. Oh, clever bird. Yeah. Very Tick. good. Now, here's the first question. What are clocks used for? Well, they look really nice in your living room. Mucker? Mm. Mm. Okay. Oh, that wasn't my real answer. Ha. You use clocks to tell the time, don't you? Yeah, that was my real answer. Mm. And what do you think? What do we use clocks for? He's very strict. I oh, know, he's been a bit, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. Tell the time, so you know when to watch the shiny show or when to have your dinner. Mm. Speaking of which... Hi, uh, Dugsby! Mm? Shiny time! Oh, yes. Uh, a shiny for you, Mucker. Mm, a shiny biscuit. Oh, in fact, I rather fancy one of those myself. No, oh, God, I have one too. I know the answer, really. I'm sorry, but in this quiz, I have to take your first answer. And it was wrong. Oh, he's been very strict today, isn't he, Mr Cheese? Mm, did you get it right? If you did, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! shiny. <laughs> Next question. What popped out of some of the clocks to tell people the time? Uh, I know, I know. Some cuckoos popped out. Boing! Cuckoo! 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 Yeah, yeah, cuckoo. yeah. I agree, yeah. Cuckoos came out of the clocks and cooked. Mm. Mm. And what do you think popped out of the clocks? Boing! Cook! Boing! Cook! Cuckoo! Yeah. Boing! <sighs> Some cuckoos popped out. Boing! Cuckoo! <laughs> yeah, so that's one shiny each. Yeah. Thank you, oh great quizzer dog. Mm. I'm going to have another biscuit. Oh, I'm going to have one of those as well. Mm. It's a shame quizzes can't have shinies. Anyway, how did you get on? If you got the question right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! shiny! <laughs> and now it's 
time to count your shinies. Count your shinies more and more. That's the way to find your score. I've got one. <sighs> yeah, oh. One. Oh, right. Well, I've got uh, one, two. <laughs> Oh. oh, and you count your shinies too. Oh, oh, come and see. I've got a good idea. <laughs> oh, wow. Dogsby's got a good idea. Wow, he is doing well today. Yeah. Ooh. Come on then, dogs. What's your good idea? Yeah, we're all ears for good ideas. Yeah. What is it? Well, I thought you might like to learn how to tell the time. <gasps> now that is a good idea. Yes. I didn't know you could tell the time. I can't. Oh. Right. So, um, how are you going to teach us, Dogsby? We oh, glum. <sighs> I knew there'd be something I hadn't thought of. So it wasn't a good idea after all. Oh, look, I expect I can do it. Just leave it to Tiger Tiggs, the mm. time-telling whiz. Right. right. Mm. Let me see this mm. clock. Mm. Now, right, you've got all these numbers mm. around the clock, like one and 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 two, right? Um, so they tell you what o'clock it is. There. It's easy. Um, yeah, but how do you know which number is the right number? I mean, it could be one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, you know, four o'clock. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or All five o'clock, right, six o'clock, um, no. seven o'clock. Um, oh, then it could be eight o'clock, nine o'clock, uh, ten o'clock, uh, eleven o'clock, or twelve <sighs> o'clock. I mean, you see the problem. No. <gasps> All right. Maybe telling the time is a bit harder than we thought. Hard? It's impossible. Oh. Why did I ever bring that clock here in the first place? It was a silly idea. Oh, where are you, lucky hat? Oh, oh, don't oh, me. oh never mind, don't oh. me. At least you all know what time it is now. It's time for... Yeah. I'm not clever enough to be the quizzer. You mm. are clever. And it's a very good quiz today. Mm. Is it? Yeah, go on, Dogsby. We might find out more about telling the time. Oh, I doubt it, but all right, I'll try. Hooray! Yeah. <gasps> Zap. Oh, what's he doing now? Well, look. Now, he's putting hands onto that clock face. Doesn't look much like a face to me. No, Mucker. That's what you call the front of the clock. There we are. Oh, oh. Look, there's numbers all round the edge. Yes, those tell you what o'clock it is. One o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock. Right, next question. Oh, dear. Oh. Why were there numbers all round the clock face? To tell you what time it is. That much we do know. Yeah, mm. the numbers tell you what o'clock it is. But one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock, six o'clock, seven o'clock. Yes, yes, thank you. <sighs> and why do you think there were numbers all round the clock face? Eleven o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock, twelve o'clock, thirteen o'clock, fourteen o'clock. Fourteen o'clock. Yeah. The numbers are there to show what time it is. Oh, easy, cheesy, peasy. Fluffy, waffy, stuffy. So that's a shiny each. Thank you very much. <sighs> yes. Lovely spoon. And if you got it right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny. shiny. Yeah. Right, next question. What did the man in the clock shop put on the face of the clock? Um, I think he put a nice smiley mouth on the clock's face. <laughs> yeah, and I think he put a big shiny red nose uh, and some googly eyes. Yeah, yeah, and a whole <laughs> full of hairy moustache. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you're just being silly. <sighs> and what about you? <laughs> what do you think the man fitted onto the clock face? <laughs> and then a big beard. And yeah, that. and a bow tie. Yeah. And and trousers. And a waistcoat. Oh, the answer is he fitted the hands onto the clock. One big hand, one little hand. Oh, that's a bit odd. Having hands on your own face. Yeah, a 
bit tricky if you want to pick something up. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, oh, uh, 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 got it. Uh, <laughs> so no shinies for this pair of sillies. Boo-hoo! Oh, uh, but if you got the answer right, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny! <laughs> and now it's time to count your shinies! Count your shinies more and more, that's the way to find your score! I've got one... Two! I've got two! Two! Um, and I've got one, two, three! <laughs> three! Mm. <gasps> Wait a minute! The hand's on the clock face! Oh, that's it! Oh. Uh, hey, Tiggs, Tiggs! <laughs> I've got a joke. Uh, Why are clockmakers rude? I don't know. Why are clockmakers rude? Cos they make a lot of faces! <laughs> <laughs> I think I know how to tell the time. Oh, really? He yeah. can do it! He can do it! He can... How do you do it, Dogsby? Well, when I saw the man in the shop putting the big hand and the little hand on the clock's face, I began to wonder what they were for. Hand on the face. <laughs> and then I realised one of the hands must point to numbers, like this. Three... Four? Five? Yes? Oh, yes. Um, but what does the other hand do? Well, remember the cuckoo clocks at the beginning of the quiz? Oh, yes! Boing! Cuckoo! Yeah, and when the cuckoos popped out and cuckooed, the big clock hand hmm, was always pointing straight up to the number 12, but the little clock hand was pointing to a different number. <gasps> hmm? Oh, um, if the big hand points straight up, mm -hmm. that means it's something o'clock. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And the little hand yes. points to a number. So now the time is five o'clock. Yes. Six o'clock. Yes. Seven o'clock! Yes! Cosby, yes. yes. <laughs> you're a genius. Oh. oh, I have to say I'm impressed. Oh, thank you. You know, I'm amazed. This is the cleverest thing I've ever done. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, come on. We can find out some more about clocks in... Round three! Yeah. What's the time now, Dogsby? It's round three time. Zap! Now what's he doing? This is a special sort of clock you need to wind up. Interesting. Oh, he's got a special windy thing to do it with. Yes, he winds it up so the clock will carry on telling the time. And winding it lifts those heavy things. What's that swingy thing? Well, that's called the pendulum. Tick-tock, tick-tock, tick. Top, right. Top. Next question. What did the man do to the clock to make it go? Um, he wound it up. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he wound it up so that it could go tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Yeah. Tick -tock. And what do you think? How did he make the clock work? Uh, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick boing, tick tock. He wound it up. Tick tock, tick tock, shiny tick -tock. time! Yeah, that's right. Did you get it right? If so, give, give yourself, yourself a shiny. Top, top, tick tock, top. And now the last question, and it's a very hard one. I'm glad I don't have to answer it. What is the name for the part of the clock which swings to and fro like this? Oh. Um, it dangles down, doesn't it? Yes. Um, I think it's called a dangle mm. uh, It started with a p sound, didn't it? With a uh, pendidum. No, um, a penguinum. No, no, no. Pum, teapot. Oh, I can't remember. <laughs> I told you it was a hard question. Do you know the answer? What is the bit of the clock called that swings to and fro? The answer is a pendulum. Oh, wow, that was hard. Yeah, pendulum. Pendulum. 
pendulum swinging like a pendulum. So no shinies here, I'm afraid. But if you got it right, well done. And give, give yourself, yourself a shiny. A shiny. <laughs> so let's find out who's won. <laughs> One, two, three! Yeah, I've got three! Uh, well, I've got one, two, three, four! Yeah! Four! Ooh! So today the super shiny goes to Mecca! Oh, super shiny! Oh, well done, Mecca! Well done, Fluffy Stuff! Oh, thanks. And well played you and Mr C. Oh, and how well did you do? If you got four or more shinies, you're a winner too! Breakfast, lunch, tea and dinner. You're the one who is the winner! <laughs> What's the time? Mr. Wolf, <gasps> uh, I mean Mr. Mucker. <clears throat> it's dinner time! No, 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 it's not, it's not, it's not. Um, it's six o'clock, really. <sighs> so now we can all tell the time. Yeah. Oh, you should be very proud of yourself, Dogsby. Oh, well, I am, actually. In fact, I feel so proud I could sing. <laughs> well, why don't you? Yeah, yeah, go on, Doggo. We'll be your backing group. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah come on, give me a kick. OK. Show the shiny show. 